This playthrough is rated T for teen. All right, Ben, the Fenrir is mine. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von are back here with another episode of Front Mission 2 Remake. In the last episode, we started the attack on the Dean Air Force Base with Thomas and Amiya getting through the front. But now it's time for Ash and everyone to go through the back and see if we can take out the commander and get the Fenrir and Ben at the same time. But before that, let's do a little bit of networking. I've already done all the setup from the previous episode, so we don't need to do that. So there's some more uh, stuff we can input here. So let's go to Octagon. Now how you know there's a lot of call, call signs for everyth everyone, do you know there's actually more call signs we could put in? Well, let's do that really quick, shall we? So remember the one OCU commander? Well, you can actually put his name in, so let's do that really quick. Hordeman. All right, let's take a look at him. He's 38, 181 centimeters, 70, uh, 78 kilograms, B, blood type, and eye color, and nationality, we don't know. Huh, weird enough. All right. Career. Army serial number A143988. First Army of Ground Defense Force, 32nd Mechanized Regiment Command. Rank Colonel of the Ground Defense Force. Marital status married. June 25th, 2062. Born in OCU, Australia. 283. Graduated from OCU Ground Defense Military Academy. Assigned to the 19th Infantry Division of the First Army of the Ground Defense Force as Second Lieutenant of the Ground Defense Force. 2092. Promoted to Ground Defense Force Captain just before before the Second Huffman conflict and acted as a battalion commander of the same force. His forces participated in the Huffman conflict as support from April of the last year. No recorded encounters with the UCS forces. 2094. Assumed the position of the battalion commander of the 32nd Mechanized Regiment Command of the 1st Army of Ground Defense Force. Concurrently promoted to lieutenant commander of the Ground Defense Force. 2099. Promoted to the lieutenant colonel of the Ground Defense Force and simultaneously assumed the post of regiment commander assistant of the same force. 2100. Awarded the position of regiment commander following the resignation of the former regiment commander. Simultaneously promoted the Ground Defense Force command colonel. Oof. But yeah, fortunately he's either dead or missing at this point, so... Alright, there's another character we could have put in. Uh, Domingo, remember that guy we were... Uh, we saw a couple times? Well, let's see what's see what his story is all about, so... Alright, bodily data. 30, age 38, 183 centimeters, 80 kilograms, blood type A, eye color black, o uh, nationality OCU Australia. I think the reason the other two don't show up but Hordeman is I think it wasn't translated properly. I think he's supposed to be OCU Australia and eye color black as well, but anyway. Career. Army serial number A21228-82. First Army of Ground Defense Force. Military Unit Str Strategy Research Institute. Rank Captain of the Ground Defense Force. Merrill status single. 4th of October 2063. Born in OCU Australia. 28-2. Enlisted with the OCU Army. Received training from the Transportation Division Teaching Troop of the 1st Army of the Ground Defense Force. Due to having a civilian helicopter license, acquired a license of pilot of the attack helicopters. Wait a minute. Hmm. Nah, that's probably nothing. 2085. Assigned to Branker. Branker? The 86th Support Aviation Corps, now disbanded in the 1st Army of Ground Defense as an attack helicopter pilot. His rank at that time was Corporal of the Ground Defense Force. 2087. Acquired a pilot's license for VTOL attackers. 2088. Obtained a license to pilot Vonzers. That same year became a cadet of the Special Forces in the Special Forces Teaching Troop of the Ground Defense Force. 2089. Assigned to Ground Special Forces. That same year promoted to Second Lieutenant of the Ground Defense Force. 2090. Engaged in a special operation on Huffman Island during the Huffman Conflict. 2092. Conducted multiple missions in the Second Huffman Conflict, such as the recapture of Freedom City, known as the Tears of Eagles. Following the conflict, awarded the Great Fox Medal along with other members of the force for considerable contribu contributions on the conflict. 2093. Promoted to Captain of the Ground Defense Force. That same year, joined a mission to rescue OCU Army prisoners during the Gabon Civil War. Rescued 18 prisoners. 2097. Voluntarily retired from the OCU Army. His whereabouts were unknown between his retirement and 2102. April 2102, returned to active duty, posted to the Strategy Research Institute of the 1st Army Ground Defense Force, and signed as a strategy consultant. Huh, interesting. I thought he was in the rescue division. Well, anyway, and if you back up and go back in, it resets him. So there is one more character, but we haven't actually heard of him yet or run into him, so I'm not going to put it in. Okay, let's go on to the next. There's actually quite a few things I haven't actually typed in yet, but I was trying to space it out a little bit more. Um, let's see, we are now at, let's go to Octave and go over Lisa's information. Remember there was a couple, uh, there was one thing we couldn't go through before we needed a passcode for? Well, now that we know what Lisa's actually looking for, we can now type it in. So yeah, remember how she's looking for Fen Fenrir? So. Top secret, ensure that no authorized individuals are in the vicinity. Model number OFEST04, codename Fenrir, classification network guidance system, invasion and control device. 
The network guided system invasion and control device is a device that allows unmanned radio guided weapons to act independently in accordance with their programming. Fenrir differs from conventional controllers because there is a no three or critical limit to the number of unmanned weapons it can control. It can also control bonzers in addition to vehicles and other machines. That's pretty powerful, dude. Depending on the program mode, bonzers can also be used against human targets and occupational operations. Countermeasures against radio jamming. Fenrir is launched into orbit aboard a satellite. It then infiltrates and controls the system of hostile satellites within a 300 kilometer radius. Yeah, the game war explains it to you, but you can read it yourself if you figure it out ahead of time. This allows it to neutralize enemy radio jamming satellites and compensate for the weakness inherited in unmanned weapons. Fenrir only acquires a few technicians for operations and soldiers to maintain the unmanned weapons and replenish ammunition. Now there is another code, however we actually don't... Well, I know what it is, but I don't... We don't know it in game, so I'm not going to do it just because I don't want to spoil things sooner than we actually have. But there is a... There is another code, and it's a time code that you have to type in within a certain time period. Okay. So, let's go back. Now, we actually have a person we can type in. Uh, let's see. Can't... Uh, not... We can't do that guy yet because we haven't run into him yet, so we'll hold off on that. So, let's see. All right. Uh, let me back up now. Okay, we've already done... Huffman and Sakata. We already found out. And remember, June 24th, this was supposed to meet a guy. You know what day we're close to? Well, we're pretty close to it, if you know what I mean, so... Anyway, done the Huffman already, and then Nain. <clears throat> we already done Sakata, and that little thing there, so and let's see. Sorry, there's quite a few people I still haven't actually added in yet, so. Okay, uh, let's see, where is Alcove? We've already got a Malin's information, but did you know you can look at Ven's information? Let's do that really quick, so. Sorry, if you hear me clicking in the background, that's me going through my notes, so. Anyway, there's Ven here. So this is the guy we're about to go after. 26, age 26, uh, height 178 centimeters, weight 65 kilograms, blood type A, eye color black, and he's from the nationality of OCU People's Republic of Aradesh. Career, age 26, years, uh, height 178 centimeters, weight 65 kilograms, blood type A. Why is it doing this again? Anyway, eye color dark brown, nationality OCU People's Republic of Aradesh. ID uh, number AA1F1974, affiliation commander of the 1st Mechanized Division Aradesh Army. June 3rd, 2076, born in Dhaka, People's Republic of Bangladesh. 2094, listed as a volunteer of the Aladesh Army. Obtained a Von Drung Panzer license after six months of training. Assigned to the 4th Mechanized Division of the Army as a private first class. Won the Vonzers competition during Aladesh Army comprehensive training with a record score. Record score. I don't know why that sounded weird to me. Something. Subsequently appointed as a commander of the Vonzer Battalion in the Army's 3rd Mechanized Division. Concurrently promoted to sergeant. 2096, promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Appointed Battalion Assistant, Commander of the 1st Launch Battalion of the Army's 3rd Mechanized Division. 2097, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Promoted from Battalion Assistant Commander to Battalion Commander. 2098, transferred to the Army's 1st Mechanized Division to replace a retiring officer. Appointed aide de camp to Colonel Rob Azad, Battalion Commander of the 1st Launch Battalion. Promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Heavily scrutinized over his possible involvement in Colonel Rob's Azad coup d'etat that occurred in the same year. No evidence of involvement was found, so an action was taken. 2100, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel, appointed Mechanized Division of the Army's 1st Mechanized Division. Okay, so we got Vin and whoops, Malin. Let me back up a bit so that way it adds them to the inventory. Okay, now we got another character we could put in there. Uh, the guy, Another guy we're actually chasing after right now, so let's put him in. Yeah, the problem with this game is knowing which characters you can actually put in their information for. Gwanda himself. Let's take a look at him. Age 53, 182 centimeters, 72 kilograms, B-type B, -type B eye color black, uh, and nationality OCU People's Republic of Aradesh. Career. Rank. Report. General of the Army. Which is December 14th, 2048. Born in Dhaka, People's Republic of Bangladesh. 2067, entered the Bangladesh Military Academy. 2069, assigned to the 1st Armored Battalion, 3rd Mechanized Division of the Army. 20, 2073, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. 2078, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Or Commander, sorry. Concurrently became a Battalion Commander of the 1st Armored Battalion of the 1st Mechanized Division of the Army. 2080, promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Appointed Division Commander of the Army's 1st Division. 2084, promoted to Colonel. 2090, promoted to Major General, left the field of unit and was assigned to the General Headquarters of the Army. 2094, appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Army, Navy, and Air Force in the reorganization of the Armed Forces following Bangladesh's accession to the OCU. It became a General in the Army. 
2098, temporarily detained in the capital, capital Dhaka with other generals during the attempted coup d'etat by Colonel Rob Azad, but was released within a few hours after the coup failed. So there's been a coup before. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, if we go back in there, whoops. He'll be unlocked. Yeah, Gwandi. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to... I said, uh, let's see, I think I already... We already did his, uh, the... I think we already did the alert from before, but for some reason it's not on, uh, it's not unlocked for some reason. Sometimes, yeah, in this version of the game anyway, sometimes it'll just remove, um, it'll just remove stuff from your, uh, even though you've already unlocked the password, it'll still, uh, you'll still have to redo it. I think it was on this menu now that I think about it. I don't know why it does that. Um, I, I guess it must be a bug or something like that, but we've already done the decon and alert stuff from previously. Um, uh, okay. I'm trying to remember. I think there's something from... It's either Berg or some... Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but it... Now, you can actually put in... Now, I'm not sure if it'll let me do this. Let me try it again, because I was trying to do it off-screen, but I couldn't do it. You're supposed to put in Sarah Bash's name, and it's supposed to give you his call sign information. But for some reason, it won't let me do it. In Japan, his uh, name is Salabash. But I don't think it'll work with that either, so I'll have to probably read it out manually. Yeah, for some reason it won't let me put in Salabash, even though you Sarabash, even though you can read it's supposed to be in the memory. I think the people who coded this just forgot to actually code in his information. But let's put in Lyra, because she's actually she's actually in the system. So let me I'll check her in a second. Let me back out. So butted, so unless unless it's under Berg or something like that for some weird reason. Let me do Berg Sanity and see if that comes in. I actually didn't try that off screen just to see. Yeah, I can't even do like a space. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so yeah, for whatever reason, you can't put in Sa Sarah Bash's information. So I'll read it out manually from my notes. I found this online for someone who did this. So. Uh, his bodily data is he's age 50, height 168 centimeters, weight 98 kilograms, blood type O, eye color black, birthplace OCU, hour dash, career, uh, on, whoops, sorry, April 14th, 2052, Bangladesh, now hour dash, born in capital Dhaka, in 2067, as a worker of the steel factory in the suburbs of Dhaka, the year of 2080, got married to Aurelia Marcana. In 2083, the first daughter, Leo, was born. 2085, quitted to work for the factory and established a new company called the Berg Transportation. This management has succeeded, succeeded, and in 2089, began the shipping trading business, too. In 2090, the best friend since his factory job, Varen Mackeridge, had died recently. So he actually knew Ven, uh, Ven's dad or father. That's why he's so close to him. I think you're... Uh, his son, Ven, 14 years old at the time, had become without a single relative, and Sarah Bash offered... Uh, as Ven's gu guarantee, so basically guardian. 2092, his wife, Aralia, died of sickness. 2094, Bangladesh becomes a member of the OCU. Uh, I think its official name is like the Oceani Community Union, for those who are curious. At the time, though, Sarah Bash was done uh, an opposition movement against his to join. It could not re get any results. In 2097, OCU searched for the Berg transportation by force. Uh, they had a, a doubt with uh, which the Berg transportation smuggled. OCU searched for the Berg transportation weapons of the OCU Army in Awardesh. After all, OCU could not find anything. In 2099, ANBC answered to a question about the fifth anniversary since joining the OCU. Since joining the OCU for this five years has not anything to gain, and our people should not depend on other countries' support. We should make an effort for independence, is on the information of Sarah, Sarah Bash. So let me back out of that. Let's go over Lyra now. Lyra! Age 18, 162 centimeters, weight 43 kilograms, blood type A, eye color black, nationality OCU, People's Republic of Bangladesh, career. May 6, 2083, born in Dhaka, the capital of People's Republic of Bangladesh, now the People's Republic of Bangladesh, to father Sarah Bash and mother Ilaria. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 2092, mother Ilaria dies of illness. 2101, passed subsidized university entrance exams the same year she graduated high school, obtained a master's degree. Worked as a security in her father's company, Berg Transportation. Hobbies and specialties. Horse running, bonds are piloting. Oh, it's a hobby. Yeah, too bad she's passed on now, so. All right, let's see. I think I've got everything I can for now. There are a couple of secrets that I could probably do now at this point, but I'm not going to worry about them. Um, I think, let's see, and I think, 
I think we've already read the current DNC information. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I think we already read all the. Whoops. I think I've already read the June 23rd stuff. Uh, I'll double check again later and just make sure. Hopefully, I'll have to look through the old files. The only problem with doing all these different ones is remembering which ones I've read and which ones I haven't read at this at this point. So, okay, I think we're good on weapons and stuff right now. Oh yeah, and one thing before we start, I forgot to show up the bonsai I unlocked when I unlocked that uh, weird website. Uh, let's show it off, shall we? We got the <coughs> the Ivano W Mac here. So look at that. Look at the stat totals on this thing. We got a whole bunch of weight we could put on it. It's, it's got high HP, high power, uh, high RC, so it can carry a bunch of stuff. Yeah, this is basically one of the secret mechs of the game. This is, allows you to basically uh, gain max weapons at the arena and stuff like that super, super fast because you have a mech that has really high rate. Uh, its arms are the uh, uh, shock weapons, so this is perfect for fighter characters. But yeah, it's a Vonda W. And uh, yeah, it's a cat, and uh, I think it's supposed to be a cat and like a frog or something like that on the arms. And then the legs, yeah, just stuffy little legs here. And I think uh, weapon-wise, you also get some shoulder weapons for doing that. You get, where are you? There he is. You get the Otakasan uh, AA missiles from the Ivana W. So if you want a really powerful mech, you just do that code I did a couple episodes ago, and you'll have a mech that'll basically just wreck anything at this level because of the power it has. I'm not going to use it because that's a... That's a bit early and cheap to get it. Uh, and it basically breaks the game and make it not difficult anymore. So there is another secret I could do, but I'll save it for after the battle. So, but I want to show off that mech that I got. So if you want to, if you want to bust through this game really fast, even the harder difficulties, just get the secret mechs and you could do it. Uh, makes a, makes a sergeant mode a, more of a piece of cake. But anyway, let's chase on Ben and get the friend rear. You ready to go? No, make it quick. All right. Anyway, yes, let's go. Follow me. Let's go. Yeah, there's more secrets we could unlock, but like I said, I'm trying to, like, kind of uh, blow them out, like, uh, just little by little, so. Although we are getting closer to the end of the game, so. Our mission is to locate the system and secure Vin and Gwanda. Godspeed. We still haven't left yet. Yes, sir, there seems to be a problem with the engine. Hurry up, dummit. Dot, dot, dot. Vin Rear should be hidden somewhere in those warehouses. Destroy the gates and find it. Let's go! There's actually a secret objective to uh, this this mission. Um, is a uh, well, I'll show you. So the secret objective in this mission is uh, to destroy all the warehouses and go through and comb through all of them. So all the warehouses have a gate that you can destroy. There's one here, here, and here, and here. We gotta find Fenrir. However, if you move to a certain point in the map, which I believe is here to here i believe it'll we'll automatically find fenrir and you won't unlock the extra stuff you came from doing it so we need to go to this these doors destroy those and move all the way around over here and destroy those doors and if we destroy all of them we can win a shield an sn 120p we can get a restore all and three repair alls for doing that uh, if you don't blow up all of them or you find the fenrir too quick you won't get the item the fenrir is in this warehouse right here so we'll save that one for last. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we need to blow up these things, but yeah, we've only got four characters here, so. All right, we gotta make sure not to move too far ahead because after we move a certain head, head away, we'll start getting hit by enemies, so. It really doesn't quite matter who goes here. Just make sure to even out your forces. Let me go ahead and save it just in case I accidentally uh, move too far. I'm basically not trying to move too far from my uh, range units. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have a ton of good spots for protection, by the way. Uh, most of them are like on the edges here. Yeah, you got some 20s over, over here, I guess. Um... Uh, yeah, I think there's some protections over here, but yeah, really not a whole lot of convenient spots to protect yourself on this map. You could probably try to get into here, except they're blocked for now. And uh, there's some protection over here. Yeah, 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 warehouse map, so. But anyway, right, let's keep going. Let's save it again just to make sure I don't accidentally activate the bosses too soon. Or the next encounter. Whoops. Nope. 
Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, if you move too far, I think it's like right before the truck that's up ahead. If you move there, that instigates the next section. I think it's like right here, I think. It's either here or here that activates the next section of the battle. So you have to be careful because if you do it too early, you'll get you'll get pretty much attacked like almost instantly. And it's kind of annoying to, to get tagged so quickly. Yep, I thought it was about right there or something like that. Do you really think you could capture me with a force like that? You forget who you're dealing with. I'll teach you a lesson. What do you mean? Uh-oh. Well, we can handle two guys. That's fine. Oh. Uh-oh. I, I mean, we can handle four. Four is it? Oh! Six? Well, I mean... Ah! Eight! Oh, no. Oh, man, there's more of them? But we only got two characters. What the heck, Gabe? Oh, no. The, the, uh, the mobile units again. Nuts. Ah, oh, nuts. Yeah, airplanes. That's why I put AA missiles on my guys, by the way. There's just four of us. How are we going to do this by ourselves? I'll crush you! Uh-oh. Nuts. Yeah, now we got <laughs> we got quite a few enemies here, so let's take a look at them. So we got some fighters and uh, kafirs. Hey, we got a unique fighter over here, finally. At least with a different model, anyway, so... <clears throat> well, anyway, yeah, I don't know why this guy's a different portrait from the other stuff, but hey. Uh, but anyway, he's in a Kafir M3. He's level 16. He's got 20 in his fight stat, and he's got the critical ability. He's got double blades on both arms, and he's got SN20 shields and a power backpack. I think this guy's about the same. Yeah, except he just does just has a different portrait. Okay. But anyway, got a couple of fighters over here. Well, they should be... A s Wait, you're a fighter, but you've got... Okay, never mind. I was thinking... I thought you were gun. I, I looked at the weapons wrong. I thought that was one of the gunners. I was like, wait a minute, why do you why do you why do you say fighter? But anyway, same stats. So anyway, we got a couple of attackers here. They're in comp 450 S's. The level 16. Oh yeah, they're uh, also piercing resistance. They got uh, 20 in their short stat, 10 in their long stat. They got critical, and they got the clavier machine gun and Dura 66 rifle SN20 shield. This guy I think is the same, except he's got the Peak Gaza shotgun. He's also piercing. Uh, <clears throat> piercing resistance. Oh yeah, the fighters are neutral or no res no element. Then we got a couple of gunners here. The Toros. They are f flame resistant. Uh, they got 16 levels. They're 20 in short stat, 20 in the long stat, 10 in their fight stat. Sorry, 10 in their short stat. I, I think I said 20 short stat. My bad. Anyway, they got critical level one, and they got hard blows and eagle eaglet f rockets, and they got an eye backpack with nothing in it on both of them. And then we've got the mobile units. We've got two of those guys, the OSV 21 Cs. Their neutral element. They've got their level 22, 20 in their 23 in their short stat, 23 in their long stat. So more powerful than the ones we just fought before, because they can actually hit us with their short stat. Um, he's got level two critical, level two speed, terror shot, and dead angle. And he's got a 90 millimeter ATR rifle, which that's the really high shot one that thing will do at 90 damage per shot to us because of our uh, armor. And he's got VRK 12 rockets, which that's not what's not as bad to dodge or block. I mean. And there's the other mobile unit over here. Uh, I think he's a little bit weaker. Yeah, he's only got 20 in his short stat and 10 in his long stat. He's got a critical level 1, and he's got the same weapons. Uh, I think these guys are the same, if I recall. Yep. Yeah. And double H, yeah. Same thing with these guys. And then we've got a couple of these uh, uh, <coughs> bombers here, gunners. They're in IV, IVA 13Bs. They're piercing resistant. They got. 16 levels and they're 20 in their long stat, critical level 1, and they got 30 millimeter ACs, CBR 10 uh, cannons, AGM 80 missiles on both both uh, wings. Or they've got multiple wings, but. Oh, and I guess they got 10 in their short stat, because they can technically hit us in short, but they usually don't. And there's the two other there as well. And then we got Ven in a helicopter here. He's in the OSH 20C. He's level 17. He's got 28 short stat, 17 is long stat. He's got no abilities. He's got the HRC-7 rockets. And then we finally got Ben here. He's in a Moth v VBS. He's level 23. He's got 23 in a short stat, 25 in his long stat. He's got critical level 2, dual, and leg first level 2. He's got FV-24 machine gun and an Alchemia rifle and an SN-35 shield. So what we got to do is basically just we need to keep moving forward up to these guys until our reinforcements arrive. Yeah, these guys kind of just start surrounding us, and it's like, yeah, 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 you know. 
yeah if you get if you go up way too fast too early then your ranged fighters will get like get just just attacked unfortunately they'll still get attacked it's just uh you know how by how much you know or will it escape activate yeah oh well at least we evaded some of the attacks better than nothing <clears throat> All right, but how are we gonna fight all these guys? We don't have enough manpower, or do we? All right, we're catching up. Sarabash, most of the army has been wiped out. These are the last of them. All right, yeah, now we get our other allies here. Whew, that could've been dangerous, all right. Rocky, let's see, Cordy right there, Griff, uh, Thomas. Let's see, let's put Amina over there. Uh, Sayuri, okay. All right, yeah, now we get allies here, so let's move everyone in. You'll still, technically, you'll survive if you get if you get attacked too so soon. It's just this helps us, uh, if you if you have just enough distance, you can help uh, avoid these guys, so. Oh, yeah, right, Sarabash, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have Sarabash with us. Even though if his mechs gets destroyed, he still comes back for this fight. So, yeah, Kafir, uh, level 16 still. I think his stats are exactly the same from the pre previous battle. Yep, so we don't have to go over him. He will help us out. He might not last too long, depending on that. Yeah, what happened to the other two characters that were helping us? Eh. Uh. Okay, so we need to... <clears throat> you might go over the other way, maybe. Might split up my forces, maybe. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think. They're all... They're all... I could probably just range him, so... Or not range him. I could probably just, uh... Eh, we'll save it a different slot, so... Now, you could grenade these guys, but the thing is, you don't want them surrounding your allies, so... Now, yeah, let's have Malin go in with, uh, Malin first. Of course you miss. Well, better than nothing, I guess, so... Alright, let's try canning him. Lucky me. Even though I got lucky, but but not literally lucky, if that makes sense. Mm, good good job blocking those attacks, dude. <clears throat> I'm not gonna block it, I'm just gonna take the hit. Yeah, they're getting close. Scary, get away from me. Back off. They're not yours, Tully. Back off. Now yeah, we got escape activated. Nice. Oh, yeah. Escape twice. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, we really got to hurry up and get up there so we can uh, protect our allies from, uh, from all this. So. Might see some people back to fight the group that's gonna come from behind, so. Alright, hmm, that's gonna be. Well, okay. Let's see. Maybe Mayla can finish him off. And that's gonna be. We're kind of in rough waters if he doesn't defeat him, though. Hmm. I mean, I could try to block him off with Ash or something like that. I might try to reload and just have Malin uh, beat him because, like I said, we don't, we kind of don't want uh, Lisa to get surrounded. Seems like he doesn't want a combo. I almost thought about doing it last turn just because uh, I kind of want Lisa to be behind me. Man, he does not want a combo. I don't think I'm gonna give it, get him to do it, unfortunately. I'll try it one more time. If not, I'll just accept the fact he's, he's just going to do one attack, so. There we go. All right. <clears throat> the only problem is he's probably going to go after down this way. So... I mean, I could do a grenade, but this isn't really the best spot for it, so. I 
might just stick him back here just to make sure he can assist or have him have a block off here so that way he's not getting surrounded. Yeah, we'll do that. <coughs> that way he doesn't lose too much AP. Not that he needs a ton of AP, but... Um, this guy's a ranged guy, isn't he? Ow. Here comes a ranged guy here, so... Um, yeah, we'll just take that hit. Blocked. Might have to heal him though. That wasn't too bad. Ah, right, we got both got panicked though. Might might uh, just go ahead and just back ourselves up. Let's see, what's our twenty? Might have Ash, maybe. Let's see. Mm. You didn't move at all. Huh. Weird. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. This guy probably could just have Cordy finish him off. Cordy or maybe even Sayuri. Uh, what's your experience at right now? Pretty good. I think I'll have Yeet. Well, maybe Ta her and Thomas will stick with her. And then uh, we'll have a... Wait, what's your movement? There. Okay, we'll just move her. And we'll have Thomas go help her out just to make sure. <clears throat> okay, let's have you guys. Oops. Oops. No, that, that threw me off for a second. Save here. Uh, you've been taking a lot of damage, so let's go and have you. Whoops. Do you have any good protection spots? I guess we'll set you there. <clears throat> Actually, that's not a good spot. Not a bad spot for uh, to. Uh, I'm going to just have you stand there, because I'll only you'll only get attacked by one guy and then a bunch of rockets. <clears throat> You're all, you'll probably run out of uh, evasion though for oh this got hurt ow yeah I knew he was going to go after one of us eventually it was just ow can you guys get to me faster please Okay, let's uh. Okay, he moved a little bit closer, so. Let's have Cordy punch him, I guess, and then we'll have Tom finish him off. Well, good enough, I guess. Three attacks and one miss. Well, that's better than nothing. And anyway, we get Shield Rush for, uh, for Cordy. Alright, let's have Thomas finish him off, hopefully. Well, well, okay, better than nothing, I guess. All right, let's keep going forward. Oops. Could, uh, well, she might get hit by, uh, like, her with a grenade there, so. Wait, could she have hit him from there with this thing? Ah, yeah, a couple of di dudes. <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and try to hit him with some grenades. Yeah, not bad. Better than nothing. I'll take it. Okay, I think I'll just leave you there, I think. 
Okay. Everyone's moved, right? Yeah. I'm trying to not have Ash get too much experience. Because he's already gotten it. So I'm trying to give it to everyone else, but he might get killed if I'm not careful, so. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too bad if he... Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, I got shield rush for Malin. Go, Cordy. Ow. <laughs> Boom. Ah, well, not gonna hit me with rockets anymore, so. Ow. Ash is taking quite a beating. Okay, let's save it again. Alright, finish him off. Or hit him in the arm, that's fine. That'll work. Uh, okay. Yeah, nice. Nice bit of experience. Although I probably should be saving those attacks for, uh, um... Uh, the Fenrir there, but... Alright. Good, good, good. Um... Well, I wasn't ready to start. The only problem is Sarah Bash will be taking experience and stuff like that, so... Really, the only good spots to protect would be like... Right here, so. Eh, who else can move? Uh, I shouldn't really get into melee combat with that guy. Because of his, uh, because of his, um, uh, weapon, so. I'll hold off on that, so. I'm just trying to think of what I have her try to grenade them again. Yeah, might as well try. today, Mr. Mr. Ash. I think that was your shield arm got destroyed too, so. Ow. Oh, come on. So much for 25%, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Down you go. All right, you get the strike ability. So she's maxed out. No one wants to block shields today. Oh, it wasn't a shield iron. Ooh, okay. I disregard that previous statement. Okay, no more, uh, no more cannons on that part. So, ah, eh, that could have been better. That could have been worse. I'll admit. Eh, okay, let's get my allies up there. What? No, 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 no. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Not having him block. I'm sorry. Long stats are hard enough to get as it is. I'm not having you do that. Nope. Sorry. Uh huh. Not. Not gonna duh. I said, not gonna duh. 
All right, fine. I'll just I'll just hit him with someone else. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Uh, but he's he's he has ranged though, so I have to go and hit him with Sayuri. So. Ow. Yeah, she doesn't get experience anymore because of the. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Didn't even hit his arm, huh? Cool. Whatever. Are you panicked now? Oh, you're panicked, so... Oh, come on! Oh, that's so frustrating. Multiple attacks and a multiple ones hit. Hit him! <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, might just have you heal, maybe. Just because you lost your arm or whatever, so. Oh! Well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, that'll be fine. Whatever. Wait, did you already attack this turn? Okay. I meant to heal him an arm, but whatever. Oh, you... Oh, that's so dumb. <sighs> Whatever. Might leave you two there, maybe. Could just let Sarabash get wrecked by these guys. Yeah, I don't know. Sarabash kind of goes off on himself, unfortunately, so... I mean, you could save Sarah Bash, but I, I guess I could have split off my units, but. Yeah, I'll try to block it, I guess. Or not. I don't know why the ranged guys go for punches. That really doesn't make sense. Block. Well, you blocked it with your face. Yeesh. Okay, we'll have to heal his body because uh, he's almost out of HP. So, especially in the body, so we'll have to heal his. We're just not blocking anything today. It's kind of insane how much we're not doing that. He haven't taken any damage, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna back off. Sorry, sorry, Sarah Bash. I kind of want my whole. I might just have you back off, maybe. Yeah, I'll probably be fine. Uh, I probably shouldn't have you uh, hit him because you might. Uh, wait, didn't you lose your shield arm? Oh, you did. 
Yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess. Saving Sarabash is not required for anything, so if, if he dies from something, then... There we go. Alright, got Intercept. Uh, yeah. Honor rate lowers your 10%. Uh, enemies hit rate by 10%. Not bad, actually. I'll consider it for later. I was about to say, are you guys going to surround him? Just a... I have to... I was about to say, I have to do something to him, so... Oh, wow. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Too bad you lost your arm there in the process, dude. Probably should do some quick... Quick uh, clean or quick uh, re health, uh, health on the, our guys before we. What's your level at? 28. Oh, you're almost there. You're almost there. Now right, let's go and restore you. Oh, that's right. You guys don't have your items from the previous battle because we can't uh, move our units around. So, um, actually, I could have done that, but I just forgot. I actually just forgot to. I legitimately forgot to. Uh, let's see, you lost your arm too, and your arm so. Oh, God. Uh, what was that? Nah, we'll just take the we'll just take the mistake. Okay, so all right, let's set up characters for the next group. Man, I'm making so many mistakes today. It's kind of insane, actually. Now let's go ahead and have Ash go work on a. Uh, uh, Destroying those uh, warehouses. That way I can get the uh, experience or get the uh, item. Nice air bash. That's what you get for running in without following me. Yeah, his his AI is just to basically go forward. You can't. He's not like some characters where they'll follow a, a specific character. He just goes off on his own. So, all right. So the way it works is you run across the base here, attack it. Yeah, nothing's in there, so... The only reason I'm using Ash is because he's gotten quite a bit of honor kills since everything like that, so this is just to give everyone else something. You can also use long weapons to, uh... uh you can use long weapons to uh, destroy the uh, things, too, so... Let's get him up there to destroy this one. I move everyone up uh, back a bit just to just to show Pike and them are ready to help too. So. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Okay, we need to make sure he doesn't go too far. You already got your max level too, right? So yeah, all my short users are basically maxed out at this point, so.
Oh, come on. Three hits and a miss. Screw you, game. Seriously, that pisses me off. Stop missing. You have an 80% chance to hit. That is not that bad. Might as well give you the honor, at least. God, three misses. Are you kidding me? That is so frustrating. Of course you're not going to block any of your attacks. Why would you do that? Oh, and you block your attack, though. Oh, okay, okay. I see how it is. Block? Hey, all right. That could have been better, I guess. I'll have to have Sayuri run, run back or something. You know what I should do? Actually, I should have had... You know, I should have just had Pike and... Uh, Lisa follow Ash just because I need them for um, attacking those helicopters whenever or uh, jets when they come after me. So, oh well. There we go. Stop missing. Thank you. Yeah, Thomas hasn't been hit too many times, so. Uh, let's see, what's your... I get in with that. Oh no, I don't have enough room for a cannon. Okay. Wait, do you have your? He stole the thrush. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, we get best position level three. All right, sorry about the cut there. I had a graphical glitch. Um, so. You know, I actually forgot. I actually don't want to go this way yet. So let me go back really quick. Yeah, I was moving Ash all the far away, but I'm like, wait a minute. I actually don't need him to do that yet. Because if you go too far forward, you activate the next section. And I almost forgot about that. So block. Uh, didn't think you would. Well, you did, but you didn't. You didn't block it for zero damage. So. All right, now you now you just can't do anything. Now you're just a bunch of eggs. Okay, let's see. What's your HP at? Oh, we gotta be able to hit him with those missiles. Are you serious? All three legs, not one is the head. You can't do this to me, game. That's not cool. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hit him in the head. You, well, you wanna. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Um, God. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, I could try to make, he'll hit me with his rifle, though, and do, like, a ton. Well, you haven't been hit yet, so. I mean, you have been, but you know what I mean. All right, fine. Yeah, he couldn't hit with his double punch because his other arm got blown off, so. Ooh. Yeah, at least we can try to finish him off. Oh, whoops. I'll give it to, uh... I thought I... Oh, anyway, we get counterblow. It cancels weapon, enemy's weapon attack and attacks the enemy with a melee weapon. But... So, that's not a bad ability, but... Now, let's have... You finish him off. 
Okay. Oh, maybe I should have saved it for my ranged characters. Actually, I should have. What I should have done is started doing the grenade stuff because we're almost. We're actually almost at the end of the battle. Uh, man. Oh, well. That's not a big deal. I just want to get grenade experience this level. I mean, there's. No, you can't hit. You can't hit the flyers with grenades, so yeah. I kind of. Uh, actually. Let me. Let me reload it. You know? I'll. I, I need to grenade people, so let me. Because you don't have your arms anymore, so. Let's see if we can try to um, lower their. That was actually a decent round, too, but. Oh well. Because after that, I only the only people I need to have uh, survive is uh, Pike and um, uh, Lisa because of their anti-air missiles. Okay, it looks like we tanked as a. Uh, Tanked his AP, so now we can just start wailing on him, so. Okay, let's see. I kind of want to, I almost want to kind of blow this guy up, or at least get him pretty close to low. That way I don't, um... That, because I, I, you know, I'm kind of afraid of, like, uh, not having someone enough to finish him off, so... Okay, that'll... Might do one more attack, see if that... Oh, no! No, didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I keep pressing the button too fast, so... Aw, oh, bad. Try that again. Oh, no, now I don't want you to fight four times. No! The one time I actually don't want you to do well. Isn't that kind of funny when I think about it? So. There we go. I said I just wanted to do it. I mean, I could always go in with, like, Tom or Ash and finish him off or something like that. I'm just trying to get, like, a little bit of uh, experience for my melee guys before bombing the crap out of myself, so. Uh, I gotta stop pressing the button too fast. Man, I'm making so many mistakes today. I'm usually pretty, pretty good on that, but. You know, I could always redo this, but I'm not going to. Uh, sometimes it's fun to have a a mission where you not everything goes right. Then again, you could consider that the whole game up to this point. Now you could get escape finally, but I don't. I mean, escape would be good for melee guys just because of how they get targeted. But I don't want to. Uh, I like trying to get as many attacks as I can. So. Okay, I think that's goodish. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that, so, okay. Alright, let's start getting some, uh, whoops. Okay, we'll end the turn, and then start uh, bombing the crap out of us. I won't be able to get max efficiency, because as you can see there, I'm, not, I'm only going to be able to get so many dudes up at a time, so. Oh, right, I probably should save it first before I do that. Okay. That'll work. As long as it's over 100, I don't mind. Oh, you're out of grenades, right. Yeah, I'm only going to be able to get a couple of grenades out of this, so that's why I was kind of like... Uh... Well, like I said, as long as it's over 100, I don't care. Uh, uh, no, should have uh, should have saved it after Elisa's go. So, I said over 100. I will take. I'll accept it. I'm not gonna mid-max it. Oh, 
Ah, that was pretty good. Okay. Do you have enough for... Yeah, okay. Actually, mine's just full in the turn. <clears throat> Mainly because uh, if you hit them multiple times, you can mess with them, like cause them either panic with multiple people or whatever, so. Okay, let's, uh, oops. One more with you. Yeah, I'll say, as long as it's a little extra way to get a, some extra experience. Ooh, nice. Get a long level, too. What's yours? What's yours at now? 24? We're getting there. What's Lisa's at? 24, too? Okay. And where are you guys at? 25? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'll max out your stuff by the end of the game. Well, maybe, depending on a certain if a situation occurs or not, but we'll see what happens, so... All right, one more time, and then we'll finish them off with cannons and stuff like that, or try to. <clears throat> and then we can start going after the last warehouse bunkers, so. Nice. Who'd I kill? Malin. Lieutenant Colonel! Sorry, sorry, Malin. Uh. Okay, let's see. What? How far are you down? Just move someone over there. Now, how far are you? Oh wow, you haven't taken like hardly any damage. Okay. Oh right, you guys still have your grenades. Right. Whoops. <laughs> okay. I, for, I, for, I actually forgot you legitimately had you guys had your grenades still. Because you still have some from, from just uh, new battle refills type of thing, so. Okay, let's, uh, because you're out of, you're out of grenades and you're out of grenades, right? Yep, okay, so let's have you guys go. Nice. Oh, is it over 100? I don't care. I mean, it could get more, but I'm not going to worry about it. The only problem is if I've blown at anyone's guys' legs, I'm, there's not much I can do about that. Alright, who did I blow up? Alright, he died finally. And then... Yeah, we'll just uh, go with whatever's left. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's see who's got, let's see, 25, uh, 27. What's that Thomas is behind? Yeah. Oh, did I blow up all, both your arms? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, she's done for, so she can't do anything now. Oh, well. I want Thomas to finish him off, and then I'm gonna... Okay, so after that, I'm gonna have to... Um... There we go. I don't know how Thomas goes so far behind on his uh, fight experience, but... Yeah. Okay. So my next objective is to basically get everyone all the way up to here. So I'll see you in a couple turns when I get everyone up there, because I'm not gonna show me running up there, so... I'll be back in a, back in a, well, I'll move everyone and then I'll, then I'll end the turn, so. Of course, Cordy can't do anything at this point, so. Because she ain't got no legs, because they ain't there. Oh, wait, she got legs. She ain't got any arms, yeah, but still. I guess it works for the moment. 
Okay, well, I'll see you next turn. Okay, so whenever we get to the warehouses here, the airplanes or jets or bombers attack us finally. Uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, sorry, I was, I miscommunicated. I think it was supposed to be, it's supposed to be here to like here or something like that targets the next object, something like that, but I was a little bit off. So yeah, if you go over here, you can, as long as you don't go too far off on, as long as you stay kind of in this general area, you should be fine. But I was saying, yeah, it took me quite a few turns to get over here, so. Like 12 or something like that. It probably wasn't that many, but still. Alright, let's uh, finish. Hit these guys if we can. Noise. Alright, finish them off. Uh... Alright, we'll just leave them there so that way uh, Lisa and Pike can uh, get them. Jerks. Almost killed Ash. Alright, then finish him off with Pike. And she gets the Shooting Star skill. Alright, Shooting Star shoots all remaining ammo, but your attack power is increased by 20%. That is a tough call to make, because like I said, I usually don't want to use all of them. However... You know, that would help her fin maybe finish some guys off. So I think I would quit the tour, but I might change my mind on that. Because like I said, I don't usually like getting rid of all my ammo in one go. You know what I mean? All right, nice. Okay, now we just have to have uh, Ash and uh, Amiya go after the doors here. Make sure not to blow them up yet. We don't want to do that yet. Well, not this one, because that has the friend rear. We're supposed to blow up every single door in this place, which there's only four. As far as I'm aware of, in this version, they didn't add any extra doors, and these can't get blown up. So it has to be it has to be these uh, these types of doors specifically for the warehouses. So, but anyway, all right, save it and turn again. Might have uh, might have you guys move back and refill your uh, ammo. That way they're prepared for when they fight. Because the only uh, only things we have left are uh, uh, the other jets. So and Ben and, and Ben and Guanji, of course, of course. All right, let's have uh, Ash blow up this one. Yeah, it doesn't use ammo, by the way, so you can shoot these with no problem. Okay, and then finally, if we we destroy this one. And we find the Fenrir. There it is, it's Fenrir's container. Whoa. What happened there? Something happened, so something blew her back. But either way, we found it, so that's all we have to do, so. Now yeah, let's have you, oh no, you guys already did your turn, so. Yeah, we found Fenrir, so now we just, we need to go head towards Guanji and Ben to set up the next objective. Uh, if you do this too early, um, you end up losing out on a lot of experience because of uh, scenes that... It, well, you can possibly lose out on a ton of experience, depending on what happens. So, I think something's technically supposed to be there, but, uh, but yeah, it just blows up, so... Yeah, I don't know why she's not clickable right now. She wasn't clickable for, like, on her... I don't... Yeah, the game's... Yeah, see, the game kind of gets bugged during that cutscene because she's supposed to stay there, but she gets knocked back. But yeah, it's it's weird. So yeah, I don't I don't know what the game's thinking in this case. Game's being a little funny. Uh, yeah, this game needs a lot of work. At least this version of the game, anyway. The original game, I don't remember having too much of a problem. But anyway, if we get too far enough, ah, Aurora, Dessa, beloved motherland. Repair engine repaired, we can go. Yes. 
He's getting away. Very, very slowly, but he is. If only we had missiles to hit him. General, look! Exclamation point, question mark. What then? Vin killed Guanji, but why? Hmm. Maybe, just maybe. Vin, to all my revolutionary comrades, the revolution has failed. Lay down your weapons and stop fighting. But do not be discouraged, because starting today, a new revolution begins. Our dream may lay unfulfilled now, but our spirit will live on, and we shall achieve victory next time. Wait, Vin! He just disappears off the map. Stay lit, some of them haven't surrendered yet. So, yeah, who doesn't... Basically, any units he haven't destroyed will leave the map as fast as they can. So, uh, the only units we have left, though, to deal with are the Flyers. So, they'll actually go after us now. Although, they might just run away, depending on... Usually, maybe I should add some people over here just to uh, get the Flyers to target me. Oh, well. But anyway. Well, I want to give the experience to, uh, to Lisa and Pike, but we'll see what happens to them, so... Or let's see what the flyers do. They might just lead the base without attacking us. Oh, they're going to stay there. All right. That'll be fine with me. Yeah, hopefully they don't take. Because a lot of the other units would just run away uh, that aren't defeated at this point. So, But if you get close enough, you can get those guys to target you. So. Yeah, if you go too far, I think it's, uh, other than activating that, if you go too far this way, the Fenrir will get discovered automatically, and you lose out on the reward for it, so. Well, you, uh, it's, I mean, it's not a crazy big reward, but it's nice to have. I think the only reward I didn't actively get was the, um, a restore, a couple of restore alls from defeating all the units in the game, but, uh, I didn't need them at the time. I wanted the experience when it came about, so, what's your... I wonder if I can move back a, a couple of spots. That way they don't. Uh, that way they don't have enough movement to target me. So that way I can just hit them with missiles. Let's see if that's enough. Oops! Didn't need to mini map that. No reason to. Here they come. Now yeah, I was hoping they wouldn't have enough missiles. Oh well. <clears throat> All right, let's finish these guys off with the. Uh, we'll just Pike and Lisa since they've got the missiles for it. So this is why I equipped them with the missiles. All right, got a long level up. Block, please. Ow. Well, money doesn't matter, so I don't mind my parts getting blown off, so. Alright, let's finish these guys off, so. That's a nice chunk of experience, too, so. It's over. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong? I thought I heard Vin singing! Huh? Vin used to sing this song to Lyra a long time ago. Elora Desu Dessa, to you this poem I recite, not only to any deity or scriptures bind. I think that's how it went. But yeah, if you look at Sarabash's history, which you can do it earlier than expected, but uh, basically, yeah, Vin grew up with Lyra. That's why, even if they're not lovers, they were like childhood friends, if anything, because they grew up together. That's why, that's why Lear kept protecting Vin. June 23rd, 2102, 2 p.m. Chef's Chiefs office. Chief's office. Lisa. Uh, was it not good? Everything was completely destroyed. Yeah, the thing was, that was an explosion that was inside the Fenrir thing. But we're able to confirm that some of the debris, that it was Fenrir? I see. Who destroyed it? Was it Vin? Probably. 
I reckon that the Lieutenant Colonel finally realized he was drifting away from his own ideals. That's why he eliminated General Gwanda. But Finn escaped from the base together with a company of Revolutionary Army troops. Is he still planning to? He can't succeed with just one company. We might be able to talk him out of it. All right, another mission then. No, you need to lead this country, all of you. Sarabash, from now on, this is between me and Ven. Come on, it's more important than that. I'm grateful for your help, whatever your motivations might have been. But whenever I look at you, I'm reminded of Lyra. It's too painful. Dot, dot, dot. Please. I understand, Sarabash. I'm sorry. I'll try to contact the aircraft carrier and have them pick us up in Borneo. We'll use them underground railway. I bet that. Huh, so we found. destroyed the Venrier. Uh, Venrier, now we can leave. Yeah, there really is no real major motivation for us to stay, at least most of us. Maybe one character, but. Sure. I'll contact them. We'll probably head out tomorrow, so we'll let you get a little rest today. Alright, looks like. Uh, yeah, let's just rest. Alright, well, the Venrier has been defeated, and. Gwandi, the instigator of the revolution, it seems like has been destroyed himself. But Finn has run away, singing in his way. What does that mean for us? Can we get to the aircraft carrier on our way here? Or is something going to keep us in, uh, in Awadesh just a little bit longer? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 2 Remake. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.